pretty good company, Tim Duncan and Ralph Sampson, yeah? That's a pretty good list. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, third game of the year for North Carolina. The fourth for the visiting Highlanders. Very veteran roster that has helped North Carolina get out to a 2-0 start. Here's Harrison Ingram, one of the first year he has with a sweet little turn. Poor guys from Riverside, their uniforms haven't shown up yet. Well, so far, the one win and two losses with those white unis. There's the big man who can stretch it over UNC. So this is what UC Riverside does. They shoot the three. Almost half their field goal attempts come from beyond the arc. Ingram watches that one rim down and out. Into the paint, out to Christie. Only two to shoot. So Andres has to hoist from way out there. It's going to be hard for them to penetrate inside that North Carolina defense. Cormac Ryan finds the big man. Easy deuce for Bancroft. Went for 22 and secured 20 rebounds. There's another three from deep. This one long. Will Tattersall couldn't get it to go. And new 20 for Riverside. At the point defense, they come away with a stop. This is the very versatile Ingram. Ryan a baseline drive. Look who's open. Here's R.J. Davis. No, that's great ball movement. That's exactly what you want to get. 90 against Lehigh last week, and then 86 of the opener against Radford. We're still early. Things looking pretty good and smoother in the offensive end. He's going to help this team this year. Boy, he loves the depth. And a lot of that veteran depth is right. Jalen Washington buries the first triple for UNC. Washington, number 13 in the Carolina Blue. Here's Davis off the screen, attacks, and lays it in. That's a good one. Yeah, Mike Magpio is suggesting that the ball did hit the rim, and the officials are saying, no, it didn't. And that's not one where you have to go and review it. Uh, you know, if the officials are sure, and they are, then they don't need to go look. And so therefore, shot clock violation. Here's Ingram. Ryan into oh. the paint, and wide opening. Frees him up for the lane. A couple of clean looks at the rim so far. For North Carolina, and the Heels are on a 9-0 run. Jalon Martinez puts a stop to that. With Martinez in the game, you can expect to see the Highlanders try to throw it inside a little bit. Elliott Cadeau attacks off the window and in. There's the freshman five-star. Nate Pickens. Oh, you got to shoot that. Kick out. Hargress, 4-3. Okay, well, three is better than two, but... Space the floor, let them go. There's Baycott. Posted up on Martinez, finds Ingram, and he sticks it. Learn the trust of his staff. Aforementioned transfer from Stanford. Hargris, that's a tough one, off balance. That's going back the other way. In the New York area. Only one person got back. That was Kyle Smith, the head coach at Columbia. And he said, yeah, come on down for an interview. And he almost tried to talk Mike out of becoming a college basketball coach. He said, I don't know why you're going to do this. But after some convincing, Mike got a job as a director of basketball ops. And 10 years uh, with that basket, Armando Baycott now into the top 10 in UNC program history, all time in scoring. It was only a matter of time before he got there. All over the record books here in North Carolina. He's just so relentless. First half, first meeting between UC Riverside and UNC. The Highlanders have only played one other ACC team in their Division I era. That was Boston College. Oh, wow. Vicious rejection at the rim. Lead feed. In a fabulous dunk, Salarice is six feet seven. They cut down with another rebound. Trimble on the move, had a steam, lays it up and in. Nice transition work by Seth Trimble. Fell down, it was off balance. UCR the other way. Owens wants three. Withers it's been hard for UC Riverside to get inside. Withers with the block and a one-handed three. Boy, Seth Trimble, the sophomore from Wisconsin, a very reliable reserve a year ago. Got to take a big step forward this season. Baycott just too strong. In a 22 class, he in Washington again. The lone sophomores that remain in this rotation. Baycott just took it away from Moses. Baycott. Wow, Armando 
Michael Baycott jumps out. Wow. Armando Baycott jumps out on Moses. And remember what Mike Magpio told us earlier today. He's used to having big guards. And his starting guards now are six each six feet tall. And there's just nothing you can do. 17 nothing North Carolina run in this first half. So here is the aforementioned Hargress. Takes it in. Wow. And puts it up and down. In Chapel Hill, utilizing that additional year of eligibility. There's a triple. Knocked down to the corner by Will Tattersall. Still have a lot of key roles that they need to replace and fill. And determine who are going to be those players to step into those roles this season. Noon, NC State is in Blacksburg to take on Virginia Tech. And then the... Prime time battle of the weekend features Syracuse and Georgia Tech in Atlanta. There's the freshman. Elliot Cadeau, hammer pass, Ingram, offline that time for next week. Shot clock draining, Christie sets the feet. Ingram rises high. Ingram to Cadeau. Shot fit, drive, got it, and the foul. Fake out at the three-point line, making sure to show you he can shoot it from out there. But Pickens, oh, you're right though. They have sworn Baycott every chance they get. Davis, off balance jumper on the baseline, got it. Tar Heels have is they have guys who can make individual plays. This is just a catch and shoot play. Credit UCR for just hanging around as long as they can. They were very easy attack. Slipped past his man and laid it in after halftime. Cadeau had it poked free. Moses, good sleight of hand. Up ahead to Luke Turner. We haven't seen too much of Turner tonight. And he misfires from deep. Couldn't hit the corner three. And that's the kind of shot that the Highlanders are going to have to make to have success this year. They're pushing through and transition and four of eight from the field. Ooh. Martina, the big man. Missed everything, though. Net ranking, yes. And therefore, it's going to be hard for you to recover. Oh, my gosh. Withers just erases that one. That's the second time. Quad won games within the conference. The ACC didn't have that. Here, Hargis drives to the basket and finds Withers. So it appears like he could very well be the most prolific scorer for this UCR team this season. Averaging 12 a game. He's in the double figures now. There's the steal and the flush. Right after North Carolina built its largest lead of the evening. Single high takes from the follow slam. Gets his crowd back up. Pays any attention to Zayden High. And he just runs from the knee. Graham's running into your picture. Past 23 class. It seems like he's got quite a bit of upside and potential. Argress high off the glass, couldn't get it to go. Here at Arizona Compass, where, where he lost to the Geico uh, Nationals Finals to Elliott Cadu's. So those two faced off last April in the Geico Nationals. Now here they are, both in the same roster. Big stuff. Quick move to the bucket. It has control over since the opening minutes. They built the double-digit lead very... Argress showed yeah, his he, confidence. He, he can't get by Baycott. Yep. Had to kick back out to Christie, and Christie is three of six from deep. Make it three of seven after the latest miss. Uh -oh. Another reloads. No, can't get it to go that time. Sometimes those are a little more tempting in a 30-point game. Yes. Trying to tip it back in. And Riverside back the other way. Difficult opponents. Here's Zayden High. Picks the pocket of Moses, only to lose it at the rim. Argris into the corner. Olamide with two threes. But North Carolina improves. It's a 3 0 tonight. 77-52 the final. And Hubert Davis' team 3-0 heading to the Bahamas.